cosplay here. This is part two of the sewing machine and dress form for 18 inch dolls by our generation. I got this pattern with this kit and this fabric. So I'm gonna make the dress that it says you can make. So if you saw part one, I unboxed the whole thing. Here is everything together. There's a whole sewing kit in here which I'm actually not going to use. I mean, there. Well, we'll see. I might use the measuring tape, but a lot of these are props. There is some thread. I may end up using my own thread. I definitely use my own needle because this did not come with a needle or scissors. So you will need some supplies if you are following along and doing this yourself. They supplied the fabric. They supplied the pattern. I'm just going to take the pattern out of here. I also have this little piece in here, which I saved from the packaging which shows the dress and the fabric and the pattern. So this is a hint to anyone who opens this in the future that this pattern can actually make this dress. So I'm gonna keep that in there. Boop. And I'm just gonna open up this pattern. There are two pieces on here, the front and the back, I believe. Let's look at it. All right, so this is what a pattern looks like. We have piece one and piece two. This is the back. It says it's the front. It's also in French. There are no instructions, so I'm gonna show you, based on this pattern, what you're supposed to do, okay? Let me talk you through this first, and then we'll go ahead and follow it. So, this shows you the cutting layout. You need to fold your fabric here, place this piece on the fold, which would be this piece right here, center fold. So this line needs to be lined up with the fold of our fabric, so that we're not cutting this this is gonna be one big piece that you open out after you unfold it. This, however, is not on a fold. This is gonna be cut as two separate pieces, okay? So keep that in mind. This is gonna be one piece on the fold. This is gonna be two pieces that are cut out. This says one fourth inch hem allowed. And this one, it says half inch hem. So this is the half inch right here. So this dotted line is where the shape of your dress actually is going to be. All this extra fabric on this side of the line is your hem area. So it's a fabric, so this is the, your sewing line. Does that make sense? This dotted line is your sewing line. So you need to cut out on this thick black line and you'll be sewing where the dotted line is. And when you cut out your pattern, make sure that you keep these notches. So when you cut it out, you're gonna be cutting along this black line and then you're gonna go up and make the notches. You can also just go in and cut the notches out, but I like to keep my fabric intact, so I will cut my notches this way. You can either do two triangles like this, or you can just go up, over, and down to make a one big shape here. On the little triangles, you would just do a little triangle outwards like that and keep cutting. This arrow means you need to line up this pattern parallel to the grain line of the fabric. So I hope that makes sense. I'm gonna go ahead and Trace these out onto some tracing paper. Is that gonna fit? Yes, that's gonna fit. That is gonna fit perfectly on my tracing paper. So let's go ahead and trace these out and then I will pin them to fabric and cut them out. My pattern pieces are all cut out and the next thing I need to do is place them on my fabric according to this guide on the pattern. But I can't use these scissors to cut my fabric. So what I need is some fabric scissors. These are nice and sharp, heavy duty scissors. These are gonna cut my fabric really nicely. So what I'm gonna do is take this fabric out and lay it out, but I want something that I can pin it onto. I can't pin it onto this table. So why don't we take the box that this kit came in and take a piece of cardboard from the box and I can pin it right to the cardboard. So let's cut out a piece from this box, okay? Why not? Okay, you guys, look at how perfect my fabric fits on the cardboard I cut out. Now, I kept the sides of the box on here, and as you can see, the fabric just fits perfectly there. However, even if you don't cut off the sides, it would still work because I need to fold this in half anyway, as the directions say. All right, there's the fold, so, okay, this one goes on the fold, this one goes on the fold like this, see like that, and then upside down, we're going to put the other one over here. 
So I am going to adjust my fabric. This is really nicely cut out. I'm gonna slide this down all the way at the bottom. Maximize all of that fabric. Pin there and then pin at the top of the fold. Now I can slide this piece over and get really close. And I wanna make sure this line is going parallel to my grain line. I'm gonna think about this before I cut. Is this all right? Do I want to add any extra on the side here just in case I might need it a little bit bigger for my doll? My doll has a bit of a booty, so I'm just gonna give myself a little bit more fabric to work with. I'm gonna scoot this over here. Now this is my side seam. I'm gonna cut a little bit extra, about halfway between the two pieces. And then I'm just gonna add that extra centimeter, about an extra centimeter. So that's all cut out now. We have our two back pieces and one front piece. Lay your front piece down first. Make sure that you have everything flipped up so that the right side is up. This is the right side, I can tell because the hearts are nice and crisp. If I flip, flip it over, the hearts are a little more faded. So front side up, front side up, front side up. Flip these. See, this is the same seam right here, it's matching. I'm gonna flip this onto here, and then I'm gonna pin the shoulder seam together. And then we're gonna sew that with a quarter inch in. A one fourth inch seam. And then I'll do the same thing with the other side. Flip that over so we have right side and right side are connected, and we're looking at the wrong side of the fabric now. I'm going to pin this here, matching my notches and the edges there, and then I'm going to sew here a quarter inch as well. So I've got two things to sew to connect my shoulders. That is my shoulder seam right there. Now I need to open it up like this. And then press the seam. I'm going to press it towards the back, so the back is the small piece. I'm going to press it in this direction. Now if you did not use a serger and you just did a straight stitch, you could press it open instead. I want to have a nice reinforced seam, so I'm going to press it to the back and then I'm going to stitch again, top stitching it down about an eighth of an inch, so it's right in the middle of that piece of sewing right there. I'm going to take my back pieces and put them together so that they are right side to right side. I'm looking at the back of the fabric. And I'm going to pin a couple places here. And I need to leave space open for Velcro here. So we only want to sew to this top of the notch. So we're going to start at the top of the notch and sew all the way here or if you're going to go the other way, you're going to start here and just go to the this end of the notch. All right? So let's go ahead and put it in the sewing machine. I'm going to do a straight stitch this time. There's my line. Alright, 
So then I'll be able to put Velcro on this side. And this side will be open. So I could just do that. And it will lay flat. Now, I want to figure out my side seams. So I'm going to drape this in the doll and pin and see what it looks like. Alright, I'm going to fit this to my doll. So I put it on her. The sides are still open. But this is the back. And I pinned up where the velcro would be. This is on inside out so you can see my seam. That way I can just pin it here and leave the pins in and sew it. So I'm going to start pinning up this side and the other side, keeping it pretty even um, to fit my doll. And I'm going to remember that I added a centimeter on the side and there should also be a quarter inch in addition to that. So I'm going to try to pin along where that line would have been originally and then see if that gives me enough room otherwise I can let it out a little bit all right I pinned both sides and it does look like this is going to fit so I'm just gonna go ahead and sew it just like that I'm gonna take these pins out take it off of her sew this side and then this side with a straight stitch try it on again if I like it then I'm gonna serge both of those sides to finish them off nicely then I can address this back seam in my velcro and then we'll be able to do the hems both sides are sewn. I'm going to try it on my doll now. Okay, she's looking pretty good. This dress is fitting her really well. It's a little loose, but it's not too loose. It's just enough that it's not too hard to get on and off. So I'm going to go ahead and serge those seams and press them. And I'm going to press my seams toward the back. Starting to look like a dress. Okay, so we still need to do finish this with a quarter, uh, one eighth inch seam. This with a one eighth. Right here, I have one sleeve done already, so I'll show you how I did it. As you can see, it has been stitched all the way around and it's only been turned under once so this is somewhere between maybe like an eighth of an inch not not as much as a fourth of an inch maybe somewhere in between there um that's about the amount that you want to turn it under so what i did is i started by pinning it top armpit and then side to side the amount that i want to turn it so we're going to start sewing from the bottom so that all of our back stitching is going to be hidden in the armpit. So we're going to start here and go all the way around to here. And as you turn it, you see that the fabric is going to want to bunch and move on you. So you can use these pins on these points to readjust yourself so that you know this is exactly where it's supposed to be straight again. Okay? Finish the bottom hem. What I did was I pressed it a quarter of an inch and then I folded it under about half of that so I could make a really tiny rolled hem. The next and last thing we need to do is to add uh, velcro on the back. So what I've done is I snipped the seam so if you turn it inside out we can see. Okay so this is the center back seam. I snipped it right here right at the end where the stitching stops is where I snipped it so that I could separate the two top edges from the bottom um, and be able to move them independently so as you can see I have also folded this side under about a quarter of an inch and then stitched an eighth inch in just to hold it down and on this side I just finished the edge and I I could have folded it in and stitched it but I just finished it with um, sur a serger instead now if I fold this out I can put the velcro here and here and then when I fold it back it'll overlap each other nicely okay so let's get a piece of velcro and cut a strip about a quarter of an inch wide and that long. I will be putting the soft side on the outer piece and the rough side facing outward on the inner piece. 
Alright, I added the velcro. I stitched it down here. This is the scratchy part. And I stitched this side, the soft side. And it just goes right together like that. And my dress is done! I did it! I made the dress! There you have it. That is the dress that you could make with the sewing machine and dress form set from our generation. Let's give it a spin. So that wasn't too hard. That just took me one little evening. And I wasn't really rushing it either. And look, we have a bunch of fabric left over as well. We could make a bow or we could make a little hair wrap. Um, this can actually be used. So if you cut out your pieces, leaving as much fabric as you can, you can actually have some left over to add additional bows or wraps to your dress. Imagine like a little bow up there. So you have some options there too. So it's pretty cool. So let's, let's see what it looks like on my American Girl doll. Yay, there she is in her dress. It fits her great. It was really easy to put on. And I could go with anything. I could put it with yellow shoes. I could put it with cowboy boots. Uh, it's got a denim look, so that's really versatile. There's the back of the dress. Yeah, it's all done. So I would totally do that again. That was a really great project. That was a very easy dress to make. Only two pattern pieces. Um, could be really versatile for costumes too. So, uh, you know, in the future, check out my Instagram at Avalyn Cosplay and I will totally post everything I make so you can see if I do any more dresses based on this pattern. Thanks for watching and make sure that you subscribe if you want to see my future videos and hit the thumbs up button if you like this making of the dress video and if you make the dress as well or if you make any dresses using this pattern I'd love to see your pictures so uh, let me know all right comment below and I'll see you next time